and when you get citizenship they send you a box and they even include uh, an Australian flag for you. Yeah. <laughs> and a kangaroo? <laughs> it, yeah, Australian, Australian flag and a kangaroo and six sausages for the bad it <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> You are now listening to the IELTS Podcast. Hello there. Today I've got Alejandro and he's a student who's an online student that got in contact a couple of months ago and he's got a very interesting story to tell us about how he got his IELTS grades. So first of all, Alejandro, could you just uh, tell us a bit about yourself, please? Well, first of all, uh, thank you, Ben. Ben, for having me here with with you uh, and all your podcast uh, listeners, uh-huh. it's a it's a pleasure for me. Excellent. Okay, so well, uh, I don't know. Well, I am I'm from Spain. Um, I was born and raised in Cadiz, in the south of Spain, but I'm uh, currently living here in Barcelona. I've been living here for uh, almost uh, eight years uh, in a computer engineer um, and currently working in a in an insurance company as an analyst programmer right why did you decide to take the IELTS exam for migration purposes we I mean me and, and my wife are, are planning to to move to Australia we have not decided yet but we're, we're planning to do that in order to to get the the visa as many of your listeners know mm-hmm. You need to, one of the requisites is uh, passing the IELTS with at least uh, a band six, which is what they call uh, uh, they call a, a competent level. Yeah. But in my case, I also needed uh, a seven, a band seven on each, because I needed that uh, 10 extra points for the visa. So I needed a, a seven. Just to, um, just to veer off a second, can you just quickly explain the process? Because first you apply for the um, for the visa, and you said that there was like quite a bureaucratic process mm-hmm. when we spoke before. Could you just um, tell us a bit about that, please? Yes, yeah, sure. yes, yeah, sure, sure. Um, well, I'm I'm I would like to apply for the uh, permanent visa, mm-hmm. which is um, actually the the best one in order to to get to australia because it, it gets you um uh, medicare which is a, a health uh, national program yeah. and also it's uh, it doesn't uh, it, you don't need to to be uh, employed to be there um, well anyway it's it's the top visa yeah. for uh, skilled uh, um, and for skilled workers the idea is that you have to to take the aisles to see the aisles and a uh, for at least to take this this band seven as as I, as I mentioned, mm-hmm. and after that, depending on your occupation, you have to go to one association. For example, in my case, it's the Australian Computer Society, mm-hmm. which is the one who's they're going to assess my um, degree, my mm-hmm. and also they're going to assess assesses my um, my working experience because I, you have to n- nominate for a particular for a particular occupation in my case programmer okay yeah so after that um you got your assessment and it says okay you are a programmer yes if if you want you can apply for you can ask for i don't know eight years of working experience okay Mm -hmm. so after that uh, um, you have to do some maths and you say okay for my age i got uh, 20 points for example and for my um my assessment, I got 10 points for the my education because I have a, I don't know whatever I have a bachelor degree and also 15 points for my working experience because I've been working for more than five years but less than eight years and mm-hmm. also for what else age uh, for English of course for the IELTS if you got as advanced seven uh, sorry if you got advanced six you get zero points. So that's right. not good for me. But if you uh, got a, if you get a band seven at least, uh, you get ten extra points. So when uh, before I 
well, of course, I had to read all these <laughs> red, <laughs> red, red tape things and all this paperwork. Yeah. And I, I realized that I was 50 points and you have to take to, to, to get at least 60 points in order to apply for a visa. Okay. Right. So that's why I, I had to take, I had to get up at least about seven. Right. Nice. Okay. So once, once that you have the, your, uh, assessment, in your society, like it's American Computer Society, but it's the Veterinarian Society, the Nurse Society, wherever. Yeah. And and the IELTS, you can apply for a visa, but you feel what they call an expression of interest, uh, which is something like, "Hey, I hear, I I think I think or, or I say that I have 60 points points and I can apply for a visa." And after a while, it depends on uh, your occupation, it depends on how many points you say you have, and they are going to send you what it is called an invitation to apply. Yeah. In this moment is when you have to present all your papers. You have to send, uh, well, you have to scan and send uh, online and attach online, you know. Yeah. Uh, all your papers, the IELTS, the um, assessment, the uh, your passport saying that you are, I don't know, 25 years old or you are 35 years old. Um, mm -hmm. And also if you have been working in Australia or you have been studying in Australia. Um, and then that's the moment you have to pay for the visa. But maybe you have, you have been, you're not going to be granted a visa yet. They're going to study your case, but uh, in, it's, in that part, in, it's in that moment that you have to uh, to pay for the visa. And I have to say it's uh, a big money. Yeah, a it's big a, amount. Uh, How much? I think it's $3,000 $3, yeah. uh, for the first uh, Australian dollars for, for the first applicant. It's, yeah. got, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. <laughs> and also you have... You have been paying for the assessment to yeah. the Australian Computer Society or, or whatever, and you have paid for the exam, for the IELTS exam. It's about 200 euros. Translations, yeah. notary, oh. medical examination. Well, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it, it costs a lot, but it's the good visa. And there's another visa, the, the temporary visas, which is, I, I think, about a third of the cost of yeah. the... But in case you are fired, this kind of visa is attached to um, to a contract. So if yeah. you are fired for, for, from the company, you are not supposed to be anymore in Australia. So uh, wow. So just to just to summarize, you have to pay about I don't know three thousand more than three thousand Australian dollars, and even yes. then, that's just um, an expression of interest, and you're not even guaranteed it. So you could be rejected and they would say, no, you don't fulfill the requirement and you've lost $3,000. Yeah, well, it's the, the expression of interest is free. Mm. Ah, okay. That's that's free. Yeah. But but uh, once they, they then, then they answer you saying, okay, apply. It's what they call invitation to apply. Ah, and yes. then you can lodge uh, your visa yeah, you you can you can lodge your all your documents and all your things, and then you at the end of the process you have to pay. When you, when you when you lodge your expression of interest, you say you say okay, hey, I have sixty points, and then when you receive an invitation to apply, you have to prove it. I see. Okay. And then you at the end of the process, at the end at the very end, you have to pay, and right. once they receive. All the documents that prove that you have um, these six, sixty points, and also um, the, uh, the the money for sure, <laughs> <laughs> they are going to study your case. And in case they, for example, let's say that you fake your passport and you are not thirty-two, you are sixty-two, and they are going to reject your visa. But it's very unusual that you once you are in this step of the process you're not you're not going to you're not going to claim any points that you don't have 
Yeah, it's too risky. Okay. Yes, yeah, too risk it. Too much money to risk. Exactly. Yeah. Right then. In the end, you you got it. You got your permanent yeah, residence. Yeah. Yeah. I got that, it. Can you tell us this? No, no. Well, no. I got the, the Isles. I'm in the process of getting the uh, the permanent residence. And now I'm uh, waiting for my assessment. Right. And then if you get it, you get is it five years to activate it. One year to activate the visa. Yeah. That means that you have to uh, travel to, to visit Australia at, at least. You have to go there, mm -hmm. um, you know, go to the uh, border and say, hey, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, and then they uh, activate your visa. Yeah. And since you are granted with the visa until you activate the visa, you have one year. Okay, but after that you can come back to your country or wherever. I mean, you can go just for a short holidays, maybe a week or two weeks. Yeah. But but then you have your your visa activates. Uh huh. And then you've got permanent uh, residency, even if you go back to your home country. No, then you have five years to go to live there. Mm -hmm. So uh, af after you activate your visa, you have five years to go to live there in Australia. Uh -huh. um, and after four years, I think that you can apply for the citizenship. So oh, that's yeah. what what uh, most of the foreigners do. Yeah. Um, because after four years, well, you can apply for another permanent resident visa for an another five years, mm -hmm. but pro probably most of the foreigners are really ask for the um, for the citizenship, yeah. Australian citizenship. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because my one of my students, they went. Well, his brother went to Australia, um, I think as an architect, and uh -huh. he went through all this rigmarole as well. And he got the IELTS. He took it a few times, and then he got his permanent residency. Then he got citizenship. And when you get citizenship, they send you a box, and they even include uh, an Australian flag for you. Yeah. <laughs> and a kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, Australian flag and a kangaroo and some sausages for the barbecue. <laughs> yeah, Barbie. We don't see there's going to be any problem with our visa, hopefully. I've been reading uh, about the uh, IT market, yeah, uh, there in Australia, and it doesn't so it doesn't look uh, so good right now. Yeah, uh, there's uh yeah, it seems there are a lot of people, a lot of candidates for each um, position. Yeah, on IT, I'm, I'm not really sure. I I've been in touch with some guys who have been living there for six months, and they're saying they are not having a good time. Because yeah. they don't find a job, they cannot secure a job. Was, um, this, was this the the contact that you got in touch with through LinkedIn? Yeah, that's that's right. I, I uh -huh. in, in link, on LinkedIn there's a, a bunch of um, forums, yeah. which uh, you can uh, read about how your how your industry is. In my case, there was a lot of uh, IT industry forums, uh, Australian mm -hmm. IT jobs, and many Australian are unemployed yeah. which uh, with a lot of experience I it's see. not so easy to find a job because the end is a small country there's not so many companies like uh, i don't know in the states yeah or, or, uh -huh. or, or in, even even in europe it doesn't look so easy to find a job right now anyway we're going to try to go for a visa mm -hmm. go for the go, go for the visa uh yeah get it uh -huh. Activate the visa. Can I just interrupt? You, did you say you contacted somebody on LinkedIn and he was mm -hmm. an IT engineer here in Spain and in Australia? In, in no, in United Kingdom. Ah, well, he's, from, he, he's a Spanish, a Spanish, but he's been living in, in UK for almost uh, six years. An amazing CV, amazing, amazing, for sure. Um, uh, astonishing English, I guess. Yeah. I've, he's been living in Sydney for six months, mm -hmm. and all, after all this time, he's, he's got only uh, three or four interviews, and they said they, their CV was really good, but he had no any local experience. Uh, well, 
it, it opened my eye, you know. What's he doing now? What's his job at the moment? Sadly, he's uh, working in a restaurant. Uh, as, how do you say? Um, washing dishes. R- r- washing dishes and raising potatoes. Raising? Uh, how do you say? Peeling. Peeling, peeling potatoes. Wow. Um, uh, I, 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 I don't in the, um, the uh, I don't know the name of this, uh, the mat. Ah, the uh, tablecloth. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you know, I have to, to work on my vocabulary. <laughs> I think it's wise. They do all the necessary research like you did, you know, on the LinkedIn, checked out the job prospects, see how their compatriots are, are finding it, see what the actual situation like is there. Because if not, you can just find yourself in one of those situations. He had a, I mean, he had a, a good job. In the, in the UK, so uh, he went there just because uh, he read about uh, the uh, life in Australia so easy and so um, relaxed, and this unemployment rate so low, mm-hmm. and with this uh, beautiful uh, weather, um, mm-hmm. you know. And he yeah. went there say, thinking that he was going to find uh, a job quite easily you know after yeah. i don't know maybe one month it sells itself really well australia mm-hmm. you yes. know and it's not a difficult thing to sell either you know i mean look at the country's massive there's incredible resources it's relatively cheap to live you can go up the beach you know it's easy to sell actually i went to um um, a, tr- a tr- uh, immigration ag- agency here in Barcelona mm-hmm. um, set a, a meeting for people who wanted to to, to migrate to Australia. Um, I attended the, this meeting. Um, I what and they always say the same thing. You know, Australia is the perfect place for you, whatever. Mm-hmm. And they ask, what are the drawbacks, the negative sides, the whatever. Yeah. And they said. In my in my, op- in my opinion, silly things like uh, well, you know, spiders, snakes, <laughs> crocodiles, uh, traffic jams, uh, <laughs> yeah, this kind of thing, you know. So uh, they didn't mention that you might be working in a in a kebab shop washing. Yeah, yeah they, they didn't, didn't say that's a potential. They didn't say that. that. Uh, traffic well, jams. <laughs> they're they're immigration agencies so for sure they're trying to 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 catch you and right then well alejandro we'll have to finish there yeah okay but that was excellent and uh thank you very much for taking the time to do no thank you thank you as well thank you i'm happy happy to be uh, now i'm gonna be a star on your (laughs) your podcast (laughs) it's uh i'll send i'll send some money in the post you know For, for applying for the visa from Australia, it's uh, 5,000 euro. No, 5,000 Australian dollar. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm going to send 10. I'm going to send 10. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. Really. Thanks for listening to IELTSpodcast.com. And remember to leave your email for updates and early access to new podcasts.